Welcome guys, this is Mauricio from cloudwoods.net and you're watching video number five of our series, Dropbox versus Google Drive versus OneDrive versus iCloud versus Amazon Cloud Drive. I know this is massive. That's why we've broken it down into individual sections that you can access right here in the playlist. Or if you like, you can read our in-depth article with all our findings as well here or down below in the description window. This video is about Microsoft OneDrive. I hope you enjoy it and remember to subscribe to get more awesome content like this one. Microsoft's in-house cloud storage service, OneDrive, was launched by revamping SkyDrive. This service was announced as the one place for everything by the company and Though it is definitely cross-platform, the service is still failing to capture non-Windows audience, basically. But as we'll see in this video, there are a couple more things that we need to take into consideration. Now, let's look at a couple of uh, um, things here in the video that we're going to talk about more in depth, which is first off, plans and pricing which is not very easy to find. Once you dig through, you can find that if you're a Microsoft Office subscriber, you will get one terabyte OneDrive storage. But of course, the subscription cost is around $10 per month, depending on the version. Unfortunately, Microsoft also cut down on the free plan from 15 gigabytes to now only five gigabytes of free storage. What a bummer. Currently, there is still a 100 gigabytes for $1.99 and 200 gigabyte version for $3.99 available per month. But early next year, you can only get 50 gigabytes for $1.99. So you can clearly see that Microsoft wants you to make the move to their office suite. Now, let's look at file syncing. In order to sync files, you need to download the app, which is a bit hidden when you're logged in, but at the lower left-hand corner, there is a button called Get the Apps. Now, on the Mac, you can get it via the App Store. You can choose a folder for your OneDrive syncs. What I like about it, that it asks you right from the beginning what and if you'd like to sync your files from the cloud to your computer. And that's handy if you connect to a new computer and don't want to sync up 200 gigabytes of files straight away. Now, syncing one gigabyte of files back to my computer took OneDrive four minutes and 25 seconds, which puts uh, OneDrive fourth in terms of syncing speed. Also, a little bit annoying is that there is basically no visuals as to what files are being synced at least on the Mac version. Uploading one gigabytes took OneDrive, OneDrive 28 minutes. You can find all the speed comparisons in our corresponding article by clicking right here. Now, sharing of files is pretty straightforward, a lot like the other cloud services. When you tap on a file, there's an option to share and a choice to invite someone through their email address or share the file through a link. Moving on, I definitely love the fact that it is integrated with Microsoft Office and that makes collaboration really easy. But real-time collaboration is only available for Office 365 subscribers right now. And if Office adds it as a free feature, well, I may forgive it for the gruesomely slow upload and download times that it had sometimes. Also, document editing via Microsoft Online is not as swift as using Google Docs. So for my daily document editing needs with my team, I'll stick to Google Docs for now. Okay, so mobile access and photo storage. Don't we love that in our cloud storage apps? Well, OneDrive mobile apps are well, pretty easy to use. Also, you cannot directly edit documents from the OneDrive mobile app. You need Microsoft Office or a similar editor to really edit the documents. OneDrive does not offer anything exciting for photo storage, apart from the extra storage space you get. OneDrive does have a promising future, but really, before moving forward, it needs to work on its current functions and make sure they're in a better balance because cloud storage is a very competitive field, to be honest. If you're using Microsoft Office and work a lot in the Office ecosystem, OneDrive is certainly a good bet for your files. 
Okay, so much about OneDrive. If you like to know more about cloud storage services, especially the big ones, do watch this entire playlist so you choose the right service for your needs. If you like, you can also read up on this comparison by clicking right here. It takes you directly to the article. And please subscribe and like our video if you liked it, of course, and see you next time.